everyone, so today we're at Voronet Monastery. This monastery was built in 1488 and it's one of Romania's eight painted monasteries. They're up in the area of Moldavia and they're a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monastery is painted with this beautiful blue colour which people call Voronet Blue. It's like a beautiful deep blue. What do you think? It's beautiful isn't it's it? It's like we're having the exterior of the building painted. Yeah. Pretty awesome. We couldn't film inside, but all the walls are painted. They're all beautifully done. It's amazing. And the craftsmanship's amazing. On the inside, like the walls are like really unique shapes, and there's a lot of like curves and I don't know, like 3D elements to the wall, isn't there? Like yeah. it's a lot of detail, and it's it's you know it's quite big. Like the the walls are very high. It's crazy that this was built in the 1400s. I'm just in awe looking at it. It's just like absolutely stunning. So apparently this monastery gets called the Sistine Chapel of the East. And you can see why, like the inside is just painted, well the outside is painted beautifully but the inside is just like the Sistine Chapel. I don't know, it's almost better because you can get a lot closer to things and it's much quieter. It's just, it's stunning. I just, yeah, I don't know why, like it's just kind of like breathtaking when you look at it, isn't it? And it's surrounded by these massive walls and beautiful trees. I presume this could be the living quarters over there, maybe? So admission prices here are five lei each which is the equivalent of about one euro. And then if you want to take photos or videos, you have to pay another 10 lei. So 10 lei for photos and 10 lei for videos. Romania is a quite an affordable country to travel and see sites in if you're from other countries. Bed, which is a bit cheddar flavour, it looks kind of like a bit of bread kind of thing. Well, it's really good, it'll be really filling as well. Good. It's kind of making my glasses all foggy. Cool. I'm just trying to unwrap it. There's lots of plastic. It smells so good. So you can get lots of different flavors. There was chocolate, coconut, just plain. We went with cinnamon. I am really excited. I just, I just want to sniff it all day. Like I just want to keep it. Don't even want to eat it. Okay, let's try it. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat it. I'm just going to bite it. It is so good. It's like kind of like a donut, a bit bready, and the cinnamon is just like it's that perfect burnt kind of cinnamon. Like, oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It's delicious. It is, it's huge. It's 400 grams. In Romania, they put the weights of like every all the food you order. And yeah, it's at 400 grams and it really feels real weighty. So it might take a while to get through it all. <laughs> so good. I think they call them like, people call them like chimney donuts or something like that, maybe? We'll put the actual name on screen. <laughs> they look really cool and it looks like it'll take us maybe a few days to eat. A few days? 400 grams, it's like a loaf of bread. A few hours. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> just got to the next monastery which is a spell of humor but I imagine it's not exactly how you say it humor I don't know <laughs> monastery I'm just gonna have a look around it's some kind of tower it's pretty cool it looks like they've built a newer monastery just next door 
It looks really beautiful over there as well, but I don't think you can go into that one. It's locked, so we can't go in. I wanted to climb up the tower. So cool, it looks like it's from a fairy tale. Out. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can just like it's beautiful here in autumn, but I can just imagine in winter when it's snowing, it'd be stunning. Like it'd be such a cool sight. Especially like the painted, of, like the paint around the monasteries, like on the bright white snow, be so pretty. I like that even the rubbish bins like in theme. Like I love when rubbish. Is, I don't know. Like it just matches the place. Like we went somewhere else and there was like a castle turret looking rubbish <laughs> so All the fences around the place also have these little rooftops on the fences kind of thing. Yeah. Really Not sure what they're for. They might be to get, keep the snow off or... I don't know. Animals maybe? Yeah. Makes them more difficult to try and jump. There's some kind of ruins there. We found a way up around the side that you can get up to the top. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> no. Got into this first room which has all these chairs in it that are usually in the church. And there's one other way up. If there's a flashlight because it's pretty dark. Oh my god, it actually has It's quite a small staircase. I'm gonna grab it down. It is pretty crazy. My arms are touching both sides of the walls <laughs> as I walk up. I thought it was, I thought it would be on the outside of the turret. It's a beautiful view out to the church. I'm not sure why this series here is for. Before you get to the window, it makes it a lot darker. And you can't really look out the window. So we were going to go to another monastery and we've been driving for like an hour and we're like we're almost there and then the road just ended. So Google Maps lied to us about there being a road. It was just like a walking track kind of thing. <laughs> so we turned around and now we're just like we don't know what to do. We don't know if we feel like driving another like the, the other way is like an hour and a half. And we've already driven an hour. We just and it's like in the opposite direction to anywhere else we need to go after. So we're not sure if we're gonna go. That might what you've seen so far might be the last of the monasteries for this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.